Hello, welcome to today's video. We'll be talking about FOMO, the fear of missing out in your 20s. It's such a real thing, I feel like, in your youth, and I feel like it definitely inhibits your lifestyle sometimes. So I hope you can find some value from this video. Bam, the fear of missing out. It's such a strange concept because I feel like it wasn't really a thing for our parents growing up. I feel like it's distinctly unique to the millennials slash Gen Z generation with the increase of social media. Because I feel like back in our parents' age, you just kind of like hung out with people, you kind of did your own thing, you never really felt like you were missing out. You weren't constantly reminded of what everyone else was doing. You were just focused on what you were doing and you are present to the moment. With our generation, Gen Z slash the late millennial generation, with the use of social media, you're bombarded with images and pictures of what everyone else is doing and I feel like the term keeping up the Joneses was never more prevalent than it is today it was very real back when our parents were growing up you'd always compare yourself to your neighbors or the movies or the magazines but you weren't like bombarded to the extent that you were today you can literally just open your phone today and you'll be bombarded with images and videos of what every single person in your friend group or acquaintance you've ever made is up to. And this is such a dangerous thing because you always start comparing yourself to their lives and you're like, well, what am I doing? Like, it's not that exciting. So I feel like this goes into the idea of FOMO and missing out. Most people can't stand the idea of just staying inside alone and just relaxing and recharging. Everyone needs to go out and create this highlight reel on their Instagram and social media to show them that my life is great, it's all fun and butterflies. Instead of just realizing, hey, it's totally okay to take a step back and do your own thing. And I think another idea, it's okay for life doesn't look like the movies or what your peers are doing. Because I feel like when you're getting caught up in this momentum of trying to keep up with everyone, you're just kind of being disingenuine. Isn't this creating unnecessary anxiety for everyone? Because if you're staying in, watching a movie, relaxing, recharging, because you don't want to go out and now you feel guilty because you're not like going out with your friends or partying or going to this concert you're like well i'm in my 20s i should be doing something exciting but it's also like it's completely okay to do your own thing and deviate from the norm because this is called becoming an individual this is called becoming an adult it's to become mature to live life according to your own values and instead of realizing that you're missing out on life it's like a catch-22 it's a paradox by thinking you're missing out on life you are missing out on life because now you're not present to the moment you're not accepting what life is giving you you're not accepting what you are doing because you're not even present to it anymore. It's like you're sitting down thinking you need to go out, but then if you go out, you would rather be home because you didn't want to go out, you just went out because you thought you were missing out. This is the craziest thing is like, are you living your own life? Or are you living it for social media or for others? And that's a question I ask myself is like, is this what I would really want to be doing if social media did not exist versus Am I going out to keep up with people? And it's almost like you're letting someone else control your own life and realizing that this isn't my own life. I'm almost at the will of others. Because if you realize trying to maintain this social image and prestige, it's an impossible thing. I think status, prestige, and how other people view you is completely out of your control. Social status is completely fleeting. It's completely out of your control. There's no point in trying to chase it. So I think you have to realize that you are never missing out on life until you think you're missing out because at least the life you're living is truly unique to you and not others. It's something that it's original. It'll never happen again. It's something that is real. Yes, not everything you do in life has to be shared with others. It's an intimate relationship with yourself to realize this is sacred, this is for me, and I don't need to continually share it for others. And there's also like beauty in sharing with others when you have so much joy and you wanna share and you're overflowing with joy. But if you need to maintain this prestige to feel like you need to fit in, I think that's a deeper psychological issue that you need to address with yourself. And I'm not saying it doesn't happen to me. FOMO is a very, very real thing for me in college and it happens occasionally, but I realize life is going at my own pace. I am not missing out. If anything, I'm becoming myself and I would rather have my own life than live this life where others, other people control me and control my actions. If you ever get caught up in the loop of FOMO and you feel like you're continually missing out, just realize that this life is yours. And if you truly feel like you're missing out, go out. For example, if you're staying in on Friday night and you think you need to go out to the next hottest party or whatever, go out, go stand in line for 30 minutes, go wait in the crowded bar for an hour, your feet will hurt. And then you realize, wow, I wasn't really missing anything. I just wish I'd rather be home. And you have to realize there's always going to be another party. Parties will continually exist. Clubs and bars, they aren't going anywhere. If you feel like you need to take a night in and rest, do that. Anything that you're included on is meant to be. This life is yours. You might as well not be anxious about it and be completely present to what you're doing. 
This video was super philosophical, but hope you find some value in it. Namaste and I wish you the best.